Good morning, folks. Let's take a quick climate update, beginning by comparing 2013 so far to 2012 up to April 16th. Many more heat records last year, by far the champ across the board. This year, cold records are in a dead heat with warmth records, while precipitation got them both in the rearview mirror. Looking back over the last 365 days, no records have fallen more than precipitation. We're trending cooler lately as well with heat records falling below cold records as of late and still both looking up at precipitation. We have no major quaking in the last 24 hours and the top tremors of note are nowhere near the largest of the day. But a small swarm is developing this morning in Oklahoma with a top magnitude of 4.3, well above average. We are currently zooming into Canterbury. Cyanobacteria has been detected in Lake Forsyth. It's recommended that people and pets stay away for now. Zooming in here on Bulgaria where a cooling problem caused a shutdown at a nuclear plant, but they say no danger exists. Apart from the rain in New Zealand, Antarctic chill is trying to hit Tasmania today as that high pressure creeps below Australia. In Europe, that one low crossing the UK has a convergence tail like we see in the US. Wind and rain warnings from the Ireland to UK while Germany caught the convergence has a few more things to worry about. Speaking of convergence tails like in the US, this spinning low up north drives the action south of it. The line coming down is where the north flow of warm moist air smashes into colder drier air from the north to create the most extreme weather conditions. Gotta check your local warnings today if you live anywhere near the convergence as we expect lightning hail and maybe tornadoes. Coming to the sunspots, bottom left is the only active region not in decay. In fact, he's grown a bit on the earth facing disk. You can see how many more umbras there are and seeming intermingling of the penumbras. Let's take a closer look though and reveal that the magnetic mixing has actually lessened from yesterday. These are so dynamic that I may have caught him pulling his socks up, so we'll keep watching today even as flaring remains at a low sea level. Flaring near the footprint is the only place we don't want to see it. You can see it grainy just behind the limb here. Interestingly, when I pull up Mercury's magnetic connectivity, it appears darn close to Earth's connectivity, the Earth footprint, and those sunspots all around them. Solar wind telemetry from ACE. Look at the orange spike in density. Impact, right? No. In addition to there being no imminent space weather impacts, this is an example of a return to ambient solar wind quiet. Up top as the red and white get closer to the baseline, we know that energetic events are subsiding. Additionally, the yellow, solar wind speed, keeps falling, and we can interpret this as the end of the CME impact versus the beginning of a slightly denser than average ambient solar wind stream. Gong is having updating issues, but the red on the left is the story and you can definitely see it. On the full visual, the left half is earth facing and the large umbral opening is set to meet earth in a few days and the all important factor, the coronal holes. Two big ones set right in the middle of that area on the left, ready to turn towards earth. They will be doing so when the planets begin to align again geocentrically, got some shots of our star to close, no earth facing eruptions amidst this visual splendor. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.15am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.